What is going on guys, welcome back to a, another video on the channel. Now hopefully this will help you guys out, however it's a completely different video than what I normally do. It isn't Fortnite related, it isn't anything related, it's basically to help out you streamers out there who want to basically get a live sub count back on your streams. This will help you get it, it is a bit annoying how you have to do it, but it is kind of cool if you do want the live sub counts back. Um, I will show you how to do it step by step, exactly how you can put it into OBS, Streamlabs OBS as well or any other um, OBS style encoder that you use. Um, this works on all platforms, or you could just use it in the um, live dashboard, um, channel dashboard, sorry. So the first thing you are gonna wanna do in order to add this live sub count is search up in Google or whatever browser you use, addon.socialblade.com. There will be a link in the description to this if you do wanna press on it as well. However, all you do is search it up, it will come up with this page like this. And as you can see here is the one we are looking for, it's a social blade. Uh, real-time subscriber account then what you are going to want to do guys is you want to press add to chrome it will then open up the chrome extension this button here will say add to chrome you just press this button and then up here it will install the social blade extension which is what we want then after this has been installed and you've logged in in order to do this you do have to have a social blade account so make sure you create a social blade account or obviously if you already have it then you are already fine once you have already done that then, what you want to gonna do is head over to your channel dashboard on YouTube. This is obviously the home page, it'll probably be blurred out on the screen so you don't see any of my stuff. However, once you're on the page, over to the left hand side of the screen as well, you should now have a tab which says live subscribe account, which if you press on this button it will now show you live subscribe account, uh, then it should say powered by addon.socialblade.com. Um, this is what you are going to be using. Um, to have your live subscriber account, so say if someone unsubs or subs, it will update. Obviously, as you can see, this isn't abbreviated. If it was abbreviated normally for me, it would say 6,070 subscribers. However, it has the full amount, just like when you're on the home dashboard page of YouTube Studio. Now, the main part of this video, which you are probably looking for, is to add it into OBS, because if you want it on your streams and stuff, you can have it. This basically gives you the, uh, the streamers the option to have it back if they do want it. So what you, as you can see here, there's a streamer uh, uh, mode here. So if you press this or if you press escape, it will put it green. <laughs> Pushing sure my screen does go a bit, uh, my faces go a bit uh, crazy there. But um, this is how you're going to basically add it in. Now, in order to add this, what you are going to want to do is head over to Streamlabs, and uh, here you can see is my Streamlabs screen on the screen. Um, what you are going to want to do is press the plus icon right here. Then you are going to want to go to Window Capture, guys. This is very important that you do go to Window Capture. Unfortunately, there's no way that you can do it through a browser source because the browser source will just take you to the home page of the YouTube dashboard. Then what you want to do once you press Window Capture is that you press a new source, you press Add Source, and then you choose which one you want to do. And for this, we are going to be using the channel dashboard on YouTube Studio. So once you've done that, you press Done. If you have a black screen, what you are going to want to do is go over to the three dots on the screen right here. So let me just get Streamlabs out the um, Let me just uh, close the window capture there for you. What you are going to want to do is go over to the three dots over here. Go down to Settings. Then go all the way down to the bottom where it says Advanced. Scroll all the way down to where it says System and use hardware ac uh, acceleration when available. You tick this, relaunch your web browser, and then once you show the window capture, it should now appear for you guys. So as you can see, my um, the window capture is now above uh, the screen there on Streamlabs. So then if we go back to the channel dashboard and go back to the live subscriber account, the live subscriber account is now appearing on the tab. So what I'm going to be doing is also showing you how to chroma key out the um, subscriber account, because what you are going to want to do is First of all, you're going to want to crop it, which if you guys want to know how to crop, I'll show you on the screen as well. All you want to do down is hold down Alt and drag the um, boxes to fit it to the size that you want it to. And then all you do is just drag it along like that, so you have the size that you want it to. Then obviously you can resize it like that as well, but obviously it has the really annoying thing in the background. So all you want to do is come back to the browser um, that it's in, press the button there to make it green, and then... Um, Obviously, as you can see now on Streamlabs, all it is is just a green box. Um, because obviously, that's just what it's basically become. Then, all you're going to want to do is um, come back over here. 
and just press on. Let's just resize it up again so you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. You may need to re resize it just slightly. The aspect ratio may change when um, you turn it into the streamer mode, so it's probably uh, easier if you turn it into the streamer mode first before you resize it. Obviously then you see this is the green background here. Then what you want to do is come down here, right click, press filter. Obviously there's no current filters applied. Then what you are going to want to do is press, uh, is scroll all the way down, sorry, and find where it says chroma key. Then once you press done, you can see here the green one does fit actually very well. So then obviously there's nothing you really need to do if you just put it as a standard green. You can obviously tweak it if you do want to. But if you set it as a standard green, there you go, you now have the um, live subscriber count. Also, if you do want to change colour of it, um, which I probably would do, is change it to um, white. So what you want to do, again, is right-click, filters, add another filter. Then you can obviously add colour keys, etc, etc, whichever ones you want to do. Um, and then obviously you could just do whichever one you want to put on it, essentially. Obviously, that's not what you're going to want to do, because otherwise you'll get rid of the rid of the text, essentially. So there's all different types of filters that you can put on it. Um, you can just play about with it, depending on which ones you want to do. Um, there are some ones which you can um, just, like, sharpen up, um, change the colour correction, etc. So this one here is probably one I would just use, because it's an easy way to make it white. And then, obviously, I can put it back to where my sub count normally is, with the blue little background above it. And then if we bring it back over here, and we put it on this background, uh, obviously here, you have to make sure that you have this tab open. That is very important. If you, uh, So what you basically then would want to do is just um, minimize this tab here. So you, um, you could just drag it out of the way, and then just minimize it basically, and just get that out of here. Because once um, you have it open, it, it will should um, it should just work for you guys essentially, um, and then you can just do whatever you want with it. Unfortunately, it is a bit annoying because you do have to have this window open for it to work. But once you've obviously set it all up and everything, you can just close this tab whenever you want, um, and then you can just have all the other tabs open. Unfortunately, you do have to obviously have the tab open though when <coughs> you do want the sub count because as you can see up on above me now, it's just a white box if you do have the tab closed. So hopefully this did help you out. If it did, feel free to go in there, drop a like, subscribe. Hopefully it did help you out. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment it down below. Um, I should hopefully be able to help you, so just comment it down below and I'll try and help you all. The main thing to do is make sure you go to this site. It is obviously made by Social Blade, and it is a live subscriber account. Obviously there is some sort of delay just when it updates, but it's only like a couple seconds or so. So hopefully it did help. Hope, um, if you did enjoy... Appreciate it if you go in there, drop a like, subscribe. I know this isn't really an entertaining type video, but hopefully it did help you out if you do want this live subscriber account back. And have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Peace out.